All right, so today I'm going to talk about seed heads in the lawn. If you don't know what that is, uh, right here. see that ugliness popping up. And it's all over the place. And uh, there's a couple ways you can get rid of it. Uh, the easiest one, the method I'll be using, is to just simply, uh, once it comes up, cut it off short and keep mowing shorter, and uh, that'll lessen the amount of seed heads that come up. It's a natural thing that your lawn will do. Uh, Kentucky bluegrass does it. Uh, not to be confused with uh, Poa annua. Let's see. Ooh, look at that. Uh, you can tell right here. These seed heads are the ones you don't want. Oh, I can't even pull it up. Um, that is the stuff you don't want. Ugh. This is the stuff that's good. So this weed over here will die out. And it'll leave a brown spot and it'll look ugly. So a lot of people try to kill it. Um, I'll do more on that some other time. But right now I'm just getting rid of it because it looks like there's like a slight reddish tint over the yard. So I'm gonna chop it off. I'm probably gonna have to double cut it since it's uh, so tall, but it's gonna look nice when we're all done. Uh, the other method you can use, which I personally don't use, is uh, there's Primo Max and Proxy. If you mix it together, apparently it will suppress the seed heads. Um, but I mean, that's kind of, I got kids. I don't like going crazy with the chemicals. I like to use minimalist stuff and seeing some seed heads for a couple of weeks isn't a terrible thing. And then I'm just going to chop it down short and try to keep it short. Uh, but it's, it's the spring growth time, so it's going to keep growing and growing. I'm going to have to keep mowing and mowing. Well, this is embarrassing.
that for 